Welcome to a book up session. My name is Ashley Gunn and I am going to be reviewing Gina Showalter's Lords of the Underworld for all of you fantasy buffs. This is for you. This is the first series of Gina's I've read and I absolutely loved the whole thing. I can't wait for you guys to read it. If you haven't read any fantasy and it doesn't seem to interest you, just try this. I am telling you that I think that this is a series that could get you hooked on it. So the plot of the series is that you have these soldiers and they get jealous that the gods entrusted Pandora's box to a woman to protect. So they kill that woman. And then they open Pandora's box, which wasn't the smartest thing they could have done, but they did it. And they released all the demons. So as punishment, the gods put one demon for each one of the soldiers. So you have a soldier who now has a multiple personality, basically, which is a demon that lives in their head that they're constantly at war with. These demons are things like disease, lies, defeat, wrath, death. There's tons of them through the books. Each individual book is written about one soldier with the demon. And sometimes they'll have a couple smaller demons in there, that type of thing. But it'll focus mainly around one person. And then the whole series together is focused on the idea that they're all trying to get together the things they need to put the demons back in Pandora box and free themselves. In case I didn't mention it, they're immortal, so they cannot die or kill themselves. Okay, so these demons are amazing. Throughout the entire series, the soldiers are going to come in contact with all sorts of supernatural beings, which even just upgrades this series one more because there's angels, there's gods, they talk to uh, Hades, they visit the underworld and they have all these like underworld minion things. This series is such an amazing series because they have such incredible talent. All of the men and the women in this series are made to be powerful and incredible beings. It is just done amazingly. So we're going to tell you about a couple of them. Disease, you'll know almost from book one. He has to section himself off because any living thing that comes in contact with his skin either gets sick, starts a plague, or dies. That's what it does. Any contact with his skin. So, I mean, could you just imagine? But then on top of that, then you have this other guy who has defeat. Anytime he's challenged, it doesn't even have to be an outright challenge. It could be something that just his demon considers a challenge and maybe not even directed at him but vague enough where the demon can take it towards him, and then the soldier is physically un in pain until he wins. Or you have, oh, ooh, there's a demon of pain, and he relives the pain that was inflicted on the woman that they stabbed every night. So, but they're just incredible section of books. I mean, really, every one of them has their own story, unique, amazing you're gonna absolutely love it the characters you're gonna see whether they're the main character of that book or just kind of floating around that character they're absolutely amazingly well written I read these books like I said back to back to back and each one felt unique and different it didn't ever feel repetitive I think that if you give it a chance you're gonna really love the series I think that uh, Gina Shaw Walter did an absolutely great job with this uh, I hope that that answers any questions you guys have. It gives you enough of information where you know whether or not you want to start this series. If you have further questions, go ahead and put that in the comments. If you like or dislike this video, go ahead and click. And then if you want to get my videos every single week automatically, subscribe. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys shortly.